Magazine Upcycling for Teens, Winter Flowers. You will need old magazines, scissors, glue, crayons, a pencil, watercolor paints, and paper clips. Start by finding some old magazines and find some pages with colors that you like. Trace or draw several circles about this size. These will be the outer petals of your flowers. When you're finished tracing your larger circles, cut them out. Then cut two smaller circles out of the paper that's still left. You'll end up with three circles, each slightly smaller than the last. This is what it looks like when I start out making four flowers. Next, take your crayon and start coloring over any white spaces or other colored spaces that you want your crayon color to cover. Do the same with all of your circles. Next, take your watercolor and paint over where you just used your crayons. Choose whatever color you like. The colors I'm going to use for my flowers are green, yellow, and orange. Make sure you color both sides of your circle since either side of the petal might be showing. Next, find some green pages so that you can make your stems. Rip out the page and then cut off the rough edge. Cut the pages you're using for your stems into thirds. Then make a small fold in your page long ways and keep folding over and over until you get to the end. Then take your glue stick and glue that last bit of paper so you can fold it over and it will stick. Use your green crayon to fill in any white spaces or other colors that you want to be green and then like before, paint with your green watercolor. You can set those aside to dry and get started with your petals. Put the two smaller circles inside the larger one. Fold it in half, fold it again, and then pull out the petals on the inside. And this one kind of looks like a lily. You can also try folding it a different way. Fold it in half, and then kind of squeeze the edges towards the middle. But I think I'm going to go with the look of the lily. Pull those petals out while you keep squeezing. Then you're going to glue right where you're holding everything together at the bottom. Put the glue right where your hand is pinching everything together. Push it around in there. And then use a paper clip to hold it all together while it dries. When the paint and glue is dry, it's time to attach the flowers to the stems. Cut two little slits in the top of each stem, one on each side. Squirt some glue right into the top, and then you're gonna take your flower and stick it right in there and squeeze where you cut the stem and do the same thing with all of your flowers and stems. 
When you're finished, you might want to take some of your extra green and make some leaves and then stick them to the stem. And this is what it looks like when the whole bouquet is done. Thanks for watching.